that. Take this. I'll take this. Good morning, YouTube. What's up, guys? Evan here from Throttle and uh, driving the M3 to Rick's house. Hopefully, you can hear me. And we're gonna fix up this suspension today because this is crazy. This is driving horrible. <laughs> First thing I had to do was take everything out of the trunk and while I did that I thought I'd kind of give you a little bit of tour around what is in my trunk setup because it's pretty busy down there. So here let me walk you through it. So what we have here is a full AccuAir E-Level with I-Level system. We have dual VI Air compressors as you can see on the side and it fits right in the spare tire well which is pretty awesome. Um, the other thing you'll notice I got a nitrous line coming through here. Uh, made sure I put uh, grommets here and bulkhead fittings there so it's nice and clean. A um, little bit of wiring um, as you can see um, but overall I think it's a really clean setup. Um, so shout out to the guys at AccuAir for putting this together. It looks like I ground this down just a little bit. Um, here's my airline. You want to make sure to use something like these plastic clips that allow this to move as the suspension geometry goes up and down. You want to make sure this is not hung up. And then here is my fantastic fabrication to ensure that this thing was going to make it here. So just a couple pieces of straps. I screwed this in and uh, tried to bend it. So we're going to be removing the shock. Uh, pretty easy to do. And then we're going to cut this panel here and put the new one in. Just remove the bolts on top of the strut. Bolts are removed. Now we just need to remove this bolt right here. All right, so I got my panel here, basically pushing it into place. Can't do this with two hands, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trace around this with a marker, Sharpie marker, and that will show me where I need to cut. All right, so as you can see, this Sharpie line here, that's the outside. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring this in about a half an inch so that there's about a half an inch of overlap. Um, that'll make sure this is a nice strong bond. It'll be stronger um, to weld this type of joint as opposed to just a butt weld. Let's go ahead and do this. I'll take this off, here we go. All right, so here is my line. You see, I put the panel in here like that. Um, what I'm gonna do now that I have that outline, is I'm going to trace this up about a half an inch. Um, we can always trim out more material, but I don't want there to be a gap anywhere. So this cut is actually gonna be really, really critical to make sure that we don't overdo it because if we have a big gap, it's gonna be really hard to fill with MIG welder. All right, so basically I got an angle grinder here with a cutoff disc, and I'm going to cut about a half an inch higher all the way around. All right, so I was able to get the entire uh, shock area out, cut out um, pretty cleanly. Right now I'm gonna go around um, with a wire wheel and I'm going to clean up all of the, uh, the old seam sealer and stuff like that um, so that we have a nice clean surface to weld. I also may need to grind down a little bit more, so we'll see. So I removed a ton of the seam sealer. You can see how the panel fits right in there. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, clean up the side of this, remove remove the paint so that it has a nice clean surface, and then we're ready to tack it in. Just put two little tack welds in there. Um, I gotta basically tack it in all the way around and then make sure that everything is seated as flush as possible. And then we're going to try to put a bead all the way around. I might have to get rid of some of that stuff. It doesn't really like to weld through that seam sealer, but as you can see, it's, it's nice and clean in most places. So, um, it's gonna be a little bit challenging, but we'll make it work. I'm gonna keep cleaning this up, then we'll start to grind it down a little bit, make it look a little bit nicer, and then we'll be ready for seam seal. 
All right, well, I'm not too happy with how this is turning out. I really would prefer to use a TIG in this. Um, there was a little bit of an issue with the fitment, and I probably should have taken care of that. Um, it was a little bit hard to fill up the gap um, between the new panel and the old panel. Um, it's definitely strong enough, it just doesn't look that great. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do a quick shot of uh, flat black spray paint, and I'm gonna come back to this. Um, I'm gonna go to a friend's shop and borrow their TIG welder so I can smooth down all the welds, maybe even have to grind some of them off, and then we're gonna redo this the right way. Sorry, but I have to get this car running and on the road, so this will have to do for now. It works, I think it should be definitely strong enough, uh, but it doesn't look pretty, so I definitely need to fix this. Good morning, it's the next day. I forgot to film an outro yesterday, but drove the car home, everything held up fine. I knew it was gonna be strong enough. I was just kind of a little disappointed that I wasn't able to get a really nice, clean weld on there. So um, after doing some research this morning and talking to a couple friends, I might have had some settings that were um, not dialed in correctly on the machine. It's also the first time that I've ever used that welder. So don't hose me too much in the comments. It's totally strong enough. There's penetration on both sides. You can see it on the inside of the, the trunk area as well. But um, yeah, it just doesn't look that pretty. So I'm gonna see if I can get over to my friend's shop over the next week or so. We'll clean it up, we'll make it look nice. And then I have to do the seam sealer. And then also I'm gonna use the rubberized undercoating so that it matches kind of the entire uh, fender well. You won't even be able to tell that that thing's there. Um, just wanted to say, if you're still watching the video, thank you so much. Um, please give a like on this video. It really helps spread the video and gain some traction. Um, and we look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Thanks. Bye. Mm -hmm.